Israeli Justice Minister and Likud MK Amir Ohana sharply attacked the state attorney's office in a surprise press conference on Wednesday evening. Ohana's remarks came after two senior advisors to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had their cell phones confiscated by police investigators earlier in the week. Almost no one dares to expose the dangerous symbiosis between officials in the investigatory branch, the attorney's office, and the media, Ohana said. Likud and other politicians have expressed anger at what they say is a coordinated deep state effort to take down a right-wing prime minister. Jordan recalled its top envoy in Israel for consultation to protest the Israeli refusal to release two Jordanian nationals. Chiba Labadi and Abdul Rahman Miri were detained by Israel when crossing over from Jordan. Israel's internal security service, the Shin Bet, says of Labadi that she was arrested under severe security circumstances. She has posted on social media in support of Hezbollah and violence against Jews in Judea and Samaria, Israeli media report. A female terrorist was critically wounded when Israeli border police opened fire after she attempted to stab one of them on Wednesday morning in the city of Hebron near the Cave of the Patriarchs. Israeli media report that the terrorist was shot in the chest at close range. The attack follows one on Monday in Jerusalem near Herod's Gate when a 16-year-old terrorist attempted to stab Israeli policemen. In addition to U.S. Special Forces credited for killing ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi last weekend, a Belgian Malinois is also being heralded as a hero. On Monday, President Donald Trump tweeted a photo of the canine and wrote that it had done a great job in capturing and killing the leader of ISIS. The dog chased al-Baghdadi into a tunnel, forcing him to blow himself up, reports Breitbart. The dog was lightly injured in the blast, but has since returned to duty.